I'm Jen Dixon, I'm an artist, and I want to tell you a little bit about a painting I finished today called Yes 15. Yes 15 is acrylic and mixed media. It's 60 centimeters by 60 centimeters in size and is on a deep canvas. Uh, it's acrylic mixed media, so that means it's got pencil, it's got acrylic inks, it's got chinograph marker, charcoal, pencil, and colored pencil on it as well. So the painting itself, it's an abstract painting, but it's based on what I would consider recollections or, or sort of little triggers that stick out in my mind from an experience uh, I had over the weekend. And that experience was a micro adventure that uh, was put on by Origin Paddle Boards, uh, Vertical Blue, and also uh, Dave Cornthwaite, uh, who's an adventurer. And so we all went, 15 of us, went stand up paddle boarding in Cornwall. And we started at the sea uh, at St. Anthony and we traveled up the Helford estuary. And we did somewhere around 12 kilometers, as far as I can tell, when, uh, when I plotted it out on Google Maps. And this trip was something that I'd never ever done before. I'd never stand up paddle boarded before and I'd never had such an experience. And um, to be honest, it's been a very long time since I've done anything quite so outdoorsy. So there was camping, there was paddle boarding, uh, we had rain, we had sun, we had, we had a great time. And so this painting is about that experience. So the colors involved, uh, first of all, that's, that's one of the easiest things to talk about. So obviously we've got colors of, of water and sea and also uh, the colors that Origin paddle boards use in their paddle boards themselves in, in the different colored logos. So I've, I've got red and I've got blue and green and yellow. And so those are all little little details that, that stick out in my mind, those vibrant colors. And part of going up the Halford involved going through a, uh, a harbor of sorts. So in pencil, which is going to be difficult to see in the video, but I'll try and put a still on this as well. But there are little shapes of boats up in the top. We did some wild foraging as well as, as the paddle boarding. So when we, we would land on a beach and we, we foraged for, for winkles and mussels and other little bits and pieces. And so down here, there are little shapes that uh, for me remind me of, of the mussels. Also involved with the shapes, we've got obviously something that is reminiscent of the paddleboard shape itself, which is, is a shape I really like anyway, and it's a really nice shape to draw. I'm also, in much of my work, I, I use a lot of sort of rectangles and, and lines and containery type um, shapes. And so you'll see those also throughout the work um, involved in like these little areas here. Uh, I've got um, all throughout, there are, there are small bits of, of line and mark that, that make up sort of these, these harder marks, these, these more, I would say, structured marks. Also here, these little marks here, these, uh, there are 15 little uh, figures, is what I'll call them, here in the middle. And obviously that represents the people involved. We've got uh, seaweedy type colors also in the green and and sort of scrolled scrolled bits of, of curliness uh, curly line that that is also part of the tangle of seaweed also in the painting um we've got uh, with the different kinds of blues i've got i've got sort of blues that are indicative of of sort of a, a peaceful sea and and you know clear beautiful water but i also have some of these slightly slightly darker slightly maybe more murky kind of colors because we didn't become involved in in paddle boarding through some some rain and and some difficult uh, conditions with wind and such so i've got those colors involved as well um so little bits and pieces throughout the whole the whole work will hopefully remind people who were on the on the adventure of little things that maybe maybe they experienced or or maybe a certain color or a shape will will spark or trigger trigger a memory and uh, I'm very pleased to, to report that this painting is going off to Switzerland uh, to go be with with Neil and Rita of Origin Paddleboards 
and I am very, very thankful to know them and to be involved with the micro adventure. So I hope that helps to sort of give an idea about the painting and where my ideas maybe come from. Some are not quite so literal as this. Uh, some of my works are more emotion based rather than experience based. Um, but this one, this one is a very literal sort of translation and all of a sudden it's raining out. So sorry about that extra noise. <laughs> but I hope this helps to understand a little bit about Yes 15. And up here I've got a little example of the kind of frame that I'm going to cut for it. So it's a tray frame, which is the kind of thing that I do for all of my paintings. So that will go around and it leaves like a little space in between so that the painting almost looks as though it's floating. And I like those kind of frames because they're, they're not very disruptive to, to the visual appeal of the work. And yet it still just kind of contains it a little bit. So that's the next step. I hope you enjoyed this. And I hope that helps to understand a little bit about my abstract painting process. Thank you very much.